Guys, we're doing something a little different today. We're gonna to go on a road trip to look for a very unusual aquatic plant. Stay tuned. So it's a beautiful day today. Uh, the summer uh, heat seemed to have subsided uh, by me for a little while. So why not go out and hunt for some unusual aquatic plants? I'm on my way now to pick up some botanical colleagues uh, who are gonna join me for this mission. And um, they're familiar with the plant and they're intrigued too with uh, seeing it out in the wild. So this plant we're hoping to find today is actually one of the world's most endangered uh, plant species. However, its rarity is only true to where it's native, which is a handful of countries like I believe Australia, parts of Africa, and then up into uh, Europe. As rare as it is though, it's been introduced throughout the world as people trying to save this plant. Uh, and, and as a result, hobbyists have introduced it into ponds uh, all, over the, all over the globe, uh, including the United States. And it's been introduced nearby to me, and that's where we're headed to find it. History has shown that introducing plants into non-native environments, especially aquatic plants, it does usually does not turn out well. In, uh, they, you may have good intentions of trying to save the plant if you introduce them. However, uh, things change over time and uh, plants that are not native can quickly take over and be problematic and cost millions and millions of dollars and wreak ecological havoc that you can't even put a price on. So I'm certainly not condoning introducing this plant, but since it's already been introduced, presumably by a hobbyist, I might as well go and take a look at it. So by now you're probably wondering, all right, all right, what kind of plant are we talking about here? Get to the point. The plant that we're going to look for today, and hopefully we'll find, is called the water wheel plant. It's an aquatic, fully aquatic carnivorous plant, meaning it catches animal prey underwater. Its scientific name is Aldrovanda, Persiculosa. It is the only species in that genus and it is related to Venus flytrap, which is native to North Carolina and parts of South Carolina. There are known introductions of the plant species on the east coast of the United States, including Virginia, New Jersey, New York, New Hampshire. Probably headed to a pond near you. All right, so let me introduce you to the team today. We have Mike, a colleague of mine, and Emmy has joined us. Emmy's a carnivorous plant expert, so she was good to have tag along and, and show us around and uh, very knowledgeable on algae bond and, and carnivorous plants in general. All right, so here we are, we found it. There's Mike, who's underdressed for the day, but that's all right. So this is the plant behind me. You can see that the plant is very abundant at this site. Which is not a good sign for an introduced aquatic plant. The species is a free floating rootless plant. 
The plant gets its names from the whorls of modified leaves along the stem that give it a wheel-like appearance. Typical of all carnivorous plants, it's the leaves that are modified to be the trap. These mechanical traps are very similar to those of Venus flytrap, yet they are underwater. And unusually fast. Traps can close in less than 10 milliseconds, making them one of the fastest plant movements known. There's always something you should know. <laughs>